Bertie. Money! It's time for the show! Bell Foss North. Bell Foss North. Bell Foss North talks music. So it does. Here we go. It really does. Bell Foss North. Hello, this is Paul Keane here. A very warm welcome to this week's show. We've got the antidote to finding happiness and a song about a goat. Yeah, that's right, a goat. Hello, and welcome to Belfast North Talks Music. I hope all is well with you. This is sadly our last show. We'll thank all the people later who helped make this such a special experience and we hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. We still have some really interesting things lined up for you today. We have four songs dedicated to rock and roll, songs from artists who left us too soon, to a reincarnation of a song from the 1950s updated to the 1980s. On the classical side of things, we have some soothing listening as well, from Italy to Russia. It does no harm to mix things up now and again. We'll hear more from the good people at Clare and listen to some insightful words written up by Amanda Ferguson. But as always, here's our catchphrase for this week. Here, where did that catchphrase come from? Where did the catchphrase come from? Where did that catchphrase come from? We don't know. So first things first, I think this is a fairly easy one this week, but here we go. The catchphrase for this week is... I'm free. And let's hear that again. I'm free. Stay with us to the end of the show and we'll tell you who said that famous catchphrase. I actually had the pleasure of working with a flautist from the Ulster Orchestra a short while ago who performed this piece solo in Newington Day Centre. It was fabulous. They do say that the sign of a great tune is that it can be played on only one instrument and still sound amazing. O mio babino caro, O my dear papa, is a soprano aria from the opera Gianni Schicci from 1918 by Giacomo Puccini to a libretto by Giovaccio Forzano. It is sung by Loretta after tensions between her father, Schicci, and the family of Renuccio, the boy she loves, and that has reached a breaking point for them that threatens to separate her from Renuccio. I might be the only one, but the story does have a little more than a passing resemblance to Romeo and Juliet, but that doesn't take away from it at all.
And now, the last in our stories from North Belfast, featuring one of the people working at Clare. This piece was written by Amanda Ferguson and narrated by Robert Thomas Cain. Moira, from Mount Vernon, is a community volunteer facilitator who has watched Clare develop and diversify over the last decade. A well-known and trusted person in the local area, Moira has been instrumental in improving training and work opportunities for younger people and better care for older people in the area. Moira is concerned with how to move communities on and improve the quality of life for everyone. The COVID pandemic has had a major impact on Claire's efforts and volunteer assistance. Staying in touch by phone and at a social distance has been vital as all the usual escorting people to their appointments, going to their homes, helping with difficulties and concerns, support and well-being roles, and taking older people out shopping has been disrupted over the last year. Volunteering assistance was limited by COVID restrictions. The difference I have seen in seniors, it has been so bad it's unbelievable, says Moira. The fear hasn't subsided. Some were anxious about vaccine injections, but more wanted it. However, there is still a fear about going out. People's mobility is lessened. Their lives have stopped. Moira has noticed vibrant and active people are more lonely and their confidence has been diminished. People have missed their friends and family and social interactions. The impact of isolation on mental health has been severe. It's all about listening to them. I go out to the doors as often as I can. Moira said she thought a lot about how difficult she found aspects of the last year or so and that this must have been multiplied for older people. The challenges of not being out of their homes much or at all for over a year, mobility going downhill and a fear around falling are all in the mix. The only positive Moira has identified is the community pulling together and looking after older people. Should we have to face into another pandemic, decision makers need to do better around support for older people, managing shopping slots and maintaining older people's emotional, physical and mental health better. Moira sees the local and intensive nature of the work being done in the community and the social work as the best bit of Clare because of the team's ability to go in deeper for longer in exploring and dealing with older people's issues. It's a community development approach. It's about going at the pace of the clients. The health service don't have that time and the volunteer element is great, but it needs to be more than that. Moira feels that emerging from the pandemic and into recovery, that volunteering should come through one big organisation with more training for student social workers who have been a great support. Moira says that Claire has a lot to offer and could do with more longer term investment and the ability to offer more regular activities for seniors and fewer information days. There are too many talking shops and maintaining an industry. Joined up approaches across the city and actually doing things for and with older people is the important part. Don't just take my word for the fact that this is not only a great song, but very influential as well. David Bowie pays homage to the descending three-chord pattern in his track, Queen Bitch, from the album Honky Dory. We'll hear more about this song later, but here is our version of that classic Eddie Cochran song, Three Steps to Heaven. Steps to heaven, walk, walk, move. Just follow three steps to heaven, the rules, and you will see that as life travels on and things do go wrong, just follow three steps to heaven, steps to heaven, steps to heaven with me. Step one.
and hold it tightly. Yeah, that sure seems like heaven to me. And now for our health slot. Give up smoking. If you didn't know it already, smoking is bad for your body and for your brain. It is linked to a whole range of different health problems, including heart disease, lung cancer, and bronchitis. The good news is that if you stop smoking, regardless of your age, your circulation, your lung capacity, and your energy levels will improve. And now on to our second classical piece. So if you'll pardon the pun, this is our swan song. Swan Lake, in fact, by Peter Ilyich Tchaikovsky. It's now hard to believe that Swan Lake, Opus 20, the ballet composed by the Russian composer Tchaikovsky in 1875 to 1876, was initially a failure. It is, of course, now one of the most popular ballets of all time. The scenario, in two acts, was fashioned from a Russian and German folktale and tells the story of Odette, a princess turned into a swan by an evil sorcerer's curse. It was premiered by the Bolshoi Ballet on the 4th of March 1877 at the Bolshoi Theatre in Moscow. Although it is presented in many different versions, most ballet companies base their stagings both choreographically and musically on the 1895 revival. <laughs> 